Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a tutorial on how to do your own research on your endangered animals. So uh, I'm gonna be taking you step by step on how to do this research. So you're really gonna get a sense of uh, how to do it, where to go to get your information, what document to use, uh, what kind of animals you can choose as well. So everything is in this video, so it's gonna be simple for you to uh, do the rest at home. Uh, so uh, I can't wait to see which animal you chose. And uh, I'm also gonna be learning some new information with your research, so I can't wait to see that. And if ever there's something that you are having trouble finding an information or whatsoever, you can always write to me and I am here to help you. So uh, have fun with your research and I can't wait to see which uh, uh, the different things that uh, you've learned on your animal. And uh, most of all, have fun. Here is a document you will be using for your research on your endangered animal. First off, this page is the intro page, so it says all about here. You write the name of your animal. So let's say you talk about Asian elephants, you're going to say all about Asian elephants. Here, the space is provided for you to draw a picture of your animal or to glue a picture of your animal. On the second page, you have to talk about your animal's habitat. Habitat, c'est son habitat, c'est où il habite. So here, you start your sentence with, my animal lives, or you can even name your animal. So you can say, the Asian elephant lives. Then you describe where he lives. Here, the space is provided again to draw a picture or to glue a picture. The second information you need to find about your animal is what kind of food it eats. So here you're going to start your sentence with my animal eats or again the Asian elephant eats. Next up is information about the size of your animal. So how big or how small is your animal? You can compare your animal with another object or you can just write the uh, size using uh, meters or whatever math, la uh, grandeur que tu trouves sur internet. So here you're going to write my animal measures or again the Let's say, for example, the Asian elephant measures. And the fourth and last thing you need to find about your animal is a unique features. Une caractéristique spéciale sur ton animal. It can be an interesting fact about your animal or just an extra piece of information that you find important to add. So here, you can write... A special information about my animal is, or you can change the sentence if you want to, but that would work perfectly. This presentation will show you your different choices for your endangered animals. So you need to choose one of these animals for your research. Let's start with African animals. You can choose the African elephant. Oh, and I just wanted to point out, uh, remember these? So at the bottom, you can see their level of endangerment. So for example, we have the uh, least concerns, uh, not threatened, vulnerable, endangered, and critically uh, endangered. So you have the uh, legend right here at the bottom. So let's say the African elephant is vulnerable. So let's keep going. Then you have the African lion, the cheetah, the giraffe, the zebra, the hippo, and the rhino. Then moving on to Asia, you have a choice between the giant panda, 
the snow leopard, the camel, the tiger. So notice here it's the Sum Sumatran, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Um, but there is this name in front of tiger. So what you need to do when I put in a, a little uh, star like this one, it says search tiger. So that means that on the website, you just need to type in tiger and you're going to find it. Now let's move on to North America. So for North American animals, you have the gray wolf, the bald eagle, the panther, and uh, for the panther, look here, I said search for mountain lion. That's how you're going to get your information on the website. The ocelot, the grizzly bear. Moving on to Australian animals, we only have the koala for now. Moving on to open waters, you have the manatee. The blue whale, the green sea turtle, and for the polar regions, you have the polar bear. So there you go. You have all your choices here of your endangered animals. This presentation will be available on the website so you can look at the animals again and you can look at uh, how to type in the name of your animal on the website. Okay, so let's go for officially the research part of this project. So for our research, we are going to be using the uh, website National Geographic Kids. So you have the name right here. And what I'll do is I will leave this website also available on our class website so that way you can access it uh, easily. So uh, once you get on the website, you have to find this yellow box right here and it says search. So what I'll do right now, I'm just going to click on that and it opens a new window. So we're now on the search engine, donc le moteur de recherche uh, from National Geographic. So what you do is here, you're going to type in the name of your animal. So let's say if you're working on the African lion, you just go ahead and type this in. You click on the little image right here, which means search, please. Just be careful here, it's not the African lion, it's African animal, so just keep going down if your animal doesn't show up uh, first. But here it is, so if you're doing the research on lions, you're gonna click here, lion, and then you're gonna have all of your information. So now let me just show you an example with one of the animals that we will not be working on. Let's see what we have in rabbit. Okay, so there we go. So, um. Let's go see the black-tailed jackrabbit. So a little bit like the lion or if you have the panda or any other animals, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be clicking here and it opens a new window with information about your animal. So here you have a part, uh, it's a slideshow, slideshow, sorry, with different pictures of your animal. Um, sorry, All right, let me just go back, sorry about that. All right, so that's a slideshow with the pictures. Um, and then you have a piece of information right here, which is super fun. You could use this as your unique features. Donc la dernière page, la caractéristique spéciale sur ton animal. These speedy animals are capable of reaching 40 miles an hour. Pretty impressive. But the part where I want to go is this green box. Each animal have this green box. And so you have the type. So it's a mammal, donc c'est un mammifère. Diet, so what it eats, herbivore mean, means that they do not eat meat. So they only eat uh, grass and all of that. So you could use this uh, for the food part of your research, but there's also going to be more information below. You have the average lifespan. Ça, c'est la moyenne de la durée de vie de l'animal. Donc combien de temps qu'ils vivent? So for the jackrabbit, it's one to five years. The size, very important because you have to find the size of your animal in your research. So here it's two feet, donc deux pieds de long. So you can go get a, maybe a measuring tape if you're curious to see how it looks. The weight, 
c'est le poids de ton animal, so 3 to 9 pounds. I'm not asking this in your research, but it's just um, interesting to know. And then when you move towards the bottom of your uh, screen, you see where they live. So uh, this is North America, so it's written right here, so you can see that it's uh, in uh, North America that they live. You don't have to go more specific than that. You don't have to name countries very specifically or cities very specifically. If you stay general and you just say, well, he, he the jackrabbit lives in North America, you're going to be good to go. So this part is important for the habitat. So we have the, so far we have the size, we have the habitat, and then when you're going to be looking at um, other information here, you might find, find more information um, about your animal that you, you can add in your research, but most of the important information is going to be here. Some animals also have some videos, which is very interesting to look at. So I hope you're going to have fun with your research, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.